So last class we started about Lehman series, right? Lyman series. So Lyman series means what? Emission of spectral line corresponding to the transistor level of electrons from higher energy level. Higher energy level means what? N2 is equal to 2, 3, 4, 5 up to infinity. Yes or no? To the fast energy level. Fast energy level means ground state that is N1 is equal to how much? 1. Understanding or not students? What is meant by Lehman series, right? Emission of, write it again, emission of spectral lines corresponding to corresponding to the transition of corresponding to the transition of electron right from higher energy levels from higher energy levels higher energy level means how much which one two three infinity na? to the fast energy level fast energy level means energy code how much Are participate fast energy level means energy n1 is equal to how much one right constitute Lehman series right constitute Lehman series understood up to this all so that means the formula was wavelength formula one by lambda is equal to how much red box constant r into one by one square and one square minus n2 square yes or no this was the formula or not and every spectral line because when it is coming from 2 to 1 there is a spectral line 3 to 1 there is a spectral line 4 to 1 there is a spectral line 5 to 1 there is a spectral line so there are many spectral lines yes or no student are you getting yes sir so every spectral line means it will be having different different wavelengths and how to calculate that wavelength? In this way, we will calculate that wavelength. Getting, na? So this is the general formula. And if I want to find different, different spectra, wavelength of different spectral lines, 2, 3, 4, up to infinity, na, students? Getting my point or not? Hmm? Are you? Yes, sir. So, see here. If N2 will be greater, if N2 will be greater, means N2 will be infinity, then this lambda will be shorter, na? Because you see, 1 by infinity means 0. 1 by something, so 1 by lambda is maximum value, is that? And if R is maximum, then lambda will be minimum. Getting my point, na? So we can conclude something. Series limit line. Series limit line means there are many lines, infinity se lekar do tak. Jitne bhi sare spectral line aa raha hai, sabka wavelength alag alag hai. So series limit line, series limit line matlab shortest wavelength is from which orbit to which orbit, right? Shortest wavelength. So that spectral line is having a wavelength. So shortest wavelength of Lyman series, right? Shortest wavelength of Lyman series is given by, what is the formula students? 1 by lambda. What is our red box constant, right? 1 by 1 ka square minus 1 by infinity ka square. Correct. Getting now. So that is equal to finally 1 by lambda is equal to R na students. Getting or not. And you can say that lambda is inversely proportional to red box constant. So what? how to calculate that wavelength? Now lambda is equal to 1 by R. Students understanding or not? Yes sir. And, and already in, in the previous lecture, we have already found this red box constant, right? Once again, you remember, remind, this is red, red box constant. What is that value I'm saying once, once again? R, Y, D, B, E, R, G, red box constant. Remember these formulas because direct questions you will get on from this part. 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into 2 pi square mass e to the power 4 by velocity of light, Planck's constant to the power three. So total 
you need to remember the value 1.097 into 10 to the power 7 meter inverts. Unit will be meter inverts or not? Because 1 by lambda is equal to R. That means lambda is wavelength. Wavelength is having a unit meter, na? So red box constant unit will be how much? Meter inverts. Are you getting or not my point? Students, getting na? So directly, if you will get a question, what is the wavelength of the sort? What is the shortest wavelength of Lemon series? What value you will write? What is that value? 1.09. No, not 1.1, 1. 1 by 1.1. 1. 1. So that lambda for shortest is equal to how much? 1 by R. That means 1 by 1. 1.097 into 10 to the power 7. Correct? Getting or not? You will solve how much value you will get. That one you will put. Understanding now all. Numericals will be coming on this pattern. Are you understood or not? Yes, sir. So this is the short line, means series limit line. Next, we can find the longest wavelength. Longest wavelength will be from what? Two to one. Write the first line. That is the series limit line. Write the first line. The first line. That is longest wavelength. You will see how it is longest. Longest wavelength. Longest wavelength of the Lehman series is given by 1 by lambda is equal to r whole into 1 by 1 square minus 1 by 2 square. Longest means 2 to 1. Shortest means from infinity to 1, right? So that you will solve. You will get 3r by 4. So that means lambda is equal to how much? 4 by 3r. And putting the value of Redipo constant, can you find that lambda? Students understanding now? Yes, sir. So in Lehman series, you are able to find the shortest wavelength and the longest wavelength. And shortest wavelength is from where? Infinity to 1, ground state. Longest is what? From second to 1. Understood now? You have to remember all those things. Next, write Lehman series. The main point right about the Lehman series lie in the, if you will calculate and you will get the value, that value will come in the range of lie in the ultraviolet region. Lie in the ultraviolet region of electromagnetic spectrum. Of electromagnetic spectrum. There is a chapter in ICC. Abhip sir, do you remember? Electromagnetic spectrum, ultraviolet region. Yes, there yes sir. UV rays, all those things. Those things here. Lehman series lie in the ultraviolet region of electromagnetic spectrum, right? And another point you can add here. Right, Lehman series is obtained. Lehman series obtained in emission as well as in absorption spectrum. As well as in absorption spectrum, right? Just write this two point, then we'll go to Balmer series. The same we'll find the shortest and the longest wavelength in Balmer, in Passion, in bracket, in P font, and all will remember. So that directly in the exam we'll put the tick there, right? Just note it. Students, now see about Balmer series, right? So Balmer series means what? Yesterday I taught you emission of spectral lines corresponding to transition of electron from higher energy level. Higher energy level means three, four up to infinity, right? Yes or no? To second energy level. To second energy level. Second energy level means what? N is equal to 2. Yes or no? Students, just wrote. If you forget, just wrote. Emission. Emission spectral lines corresponding to corresponding to the transition of electron from higher energy levels from higher energy level that is n2 is equal to how much students 3 4 infinity because 2 to 2 not possible right? it will come from 3 to energy level to second energy level which energy level students 
second energy level are are you getting or not yes sir second energy level that is n1 is equal to 2 that constitute balmond series right that constitute balmond series understood na so net by putting this formula let's find the shortest wavelength so here the general formula will be how much that is 1 by lambda is equal to how much red box constant into 1 by 2 square minus for which orbit it will be giving to find the wavelength you can find from 4th orbit 6th orbit 7th orbit or nth orbit right and n2 will start from where 3 correct 4 5 will go up to what infinity understanding now understanding all or not so here you can find the shortest wavelength, right? Shortest wavelength, shortest wavelength, correct? So shortest wavelength finding means what? Shortest wavelength of Balmot series will be asked in the question. So what to do? You'll put infinity, correct or not, in place of N2, getting na? Are you getting you some idea or not? 2 square by 1 by infinity square. So that is how much students? Only r by 4 now. That means lambda will be how much? 4 by r. Is that clear to all? Rosri Sayasri, Sujismita, Abhipsa, Khirabdi, are you getting or not? Yes, sir. Okay, understood. Next, right? No, longest wavelength will calculate. Let's calculate the longest wavelength. You just calculate and say me. Longest wavelength. Longest wavelength of Balmot series will be how much? No, sir, 1 by lambda is equal to R whole into 1 by 2 square minus 1 by what will take? 3 square. Correct or not? So test ke liye infinity N2, longest ke liye. the next that is 3. So that is equal to how much? 5 R by 36 and that lambda you will get 36 by 5 R. Can you remember this expression or not? Because in the exam, you are not going to derive. In some question, you have to save the time. That is this type of questions from modern physics. Direct question you are going to get, not twisted questions. Correct? If you know, you can do. If you don't know, don't know. And here, like that in the previous case, I told what was the series? Lehmann series lie in ultraviolet region of electromagnetic. But Balmot series lie in the visible, visible region of ele electromagnetic spectrum. Right? Right here. Balmert series, two points add here. Balmert series lie in the visible region of in the visible region of electromagnetic spectrum. Understood? Nah? Underline visible region. Four options will be there. You will be taking electromagnetic spectrum, visible spectrum, or infrared region, or uh, in, uh, like that. Yes, sir. Okay, next. Is there a point? What did you tell me about the Levan series obtained in the emission or absorption? Both come from it. But here, the Balmer series is obtained only in the emission spectrum, right? Here, you write another point. This series, this series is obtained Only in emission spectrum. Underline here emission spectrum, right? All understood this part or not? Just say me. Let's find uh, next. Next, let's see the same thing for past centuries, right? And for past centuries, the em emission of spectral line corresponds to n two, which what? Four, five. Infinity, yes or no? And n1 is what? 3. Getting now. So here, here we can also find the wavelength. 1 by lambda is equal to red box constant. 1 by 3 square minus 1 by n square. The corresponding wavelength you can find for any of orbit to a, a 3. And here n2 is 4, 5 infinity. So if I'll be asking the shortest wavelength for this, we want to find the shortest wavelength. We're going to find the shortest wavelength for this series, right? So that is 1 by lambda is equal to r into shortest means what? 1 by 3 square 
minus 1 by infinity square, correct? So that is equal to how much student? R by 9, na? So that lambda is equal to how much? 9 by R. Students all understood? Yes. Okay. So next we can find the longest wavelength also. Let's go for the longest wavelength. Correct students? So longest means what you have to put in place of N2? Four. Four, four square, correct. Next, just, just, just the next orbit. So that you will get by solving 7 R by 144. So from there you can get lambda is equal to how much? 144 by 7 R. You have to just remember this value. And also by calculating the values, you remember these values by putting the value of red box constant. And here, Passant series lies in which region? Infrared region of electromagnetic spectrum, right? At the point here. Passant series. Passant series lie in the infrared region. Lie in the infrared region of the electromagnetic spectrum. Infrared region of the electromagnetic spectrum, right? Correct? Yes or no? Then, and this is obtained also, this is obtained, the series is obtained only in the emission spectrum, right? At this point also, this series, this series is obtained only in the emission spectrum. Only in the emission spectrum. Understood students, getting or not? Underline here, infrared region and underline here, obtained in the emission spectrum. All understood this part? And let's next see the same thing as in bracket series. So bracket series N2 will be how much semi? Five, six, seven up to infinity and N1 will be how much? Four. The total spectral line will be bracket series. And what is the normal formula for wavelength? 1 by lambda is equal to R into 1 by, what I'll write? 1 by what square? 5 square. Mm -hmm. Base is 4, na? 4 square. Minus 1 by N2 square. And this N2 will be 5, 6, 7, 8 up to infinity. Correct? And here if I'll be saying you find the shortest wavelength, what you'll put in place of N2? Infinity, correct? Right, shortest wavelength. You got the logic, now? How the things are working? That is 1 by 4 square minus 1 by infinity square. Yes or no? So that is equal to how much? R by 16. So that lambda is equal to how much? 16 by R. Understood? Let's go for the longest wavelength. Let's go for the longest wavelength. Correct. So longest wavelength means how much? 1 by lambda is equal to what we will put? R into 1 by 4 square minus 1 by 5 square. That is how we'll get 9R by 400. And by solving, lambda is equal to how much? 400 by 9R. Just keep in, in, in mind the every, every value of the lambda. It will, be, it will be easier for you. And it also comes, right? Bracket series lie in the infrared region too. Right? Bracket series lie in the infrared region. Infrared right infrared region of electromagnetic spectrum infrared region of electromagnetic spectrum correct students and this is also obtained only in the emission spectrum right obtained only in the emission spectrum right obtained only in the emission spectrum Right. Next, right, P fund series. In the same UP, we'll also find the P fund series. Giving P fund series, correct? So same semi for P fund series, how much will be the value of N2? N2 will be 6, 7, 8, up to infinity. Yes or no? And N1 will be how much? 5, correct? Yes or no, students? So that is 1 by lambda is equal to R into how much? 
1 by 5 square minus 1 by n2 square. Getting now? Yes or no? So yes. if I'm finding to find the surtest, let's find the surtest wavelength. Let's find the surtest wavelength. Correct? Surtest wavelength means how much 1 by lambda is equal to r into, you can calculate 1 by 5 square minus 1 by infinity square. So that is 25, r by 25. Yes or no? So yes. lambda is equal to how much? 25 by r. Getting all. Then longest waveform, right? Longest wavelength. So longest wavelength in N2, you have to put 6, na? Yes, no? yes. 1 by lambda is equal to R into 1 by 5 square minus 1 by 6 square. So that is 11 R by 900. So lambda will be how much? 900 by 11 R. Just remember the values. I will ask every question just after a few days, like interview, right? And it also comes uh, in the infrared region of electromagnetic spectrum, R here. Ye bhi infrared region pe bhi aata hai. Infrared region of electromagnetic spectrum. Infrared region of electromagnetic spectrum. Getting all? And ye bhi kaise obtained hota hai? Obtained only wahi emission spectrum. Only first one is obtained in both emission and uh, absorption but rest are only obtained in emission spectrum obtained only in the emission spectrum obtained only in the emission spectrum understood students yeah the idea was all got yes or no so many times you will get such a question just see some, some important points I'm saying about you. Just directly remember the formulas. It, there will be some question. Number of, right? Number of spectral lines always. How to calculate? Number of spectral lines. I also told you in the previous classes. Number of spectral lines due to transition, right? Due to transition of electron. from nth orbit to lower orbit is n is equal to how much students? n whole into n minus 1 divided by 2. Yes or no? Number of spectral n will be asked in the question. So directly we will put this formula. Okay. Next, also I told you in the last last class, lecture 5, ionization energy and ionization potential. Do you remember or not? Just yes, sir. Ionization energy, right? What is meant by ionization? What subjective exam you may get? What is meant by ionization? The process of knocking an electron out of the atom is called ionization, right? Okay. I have told you and ionization energy, right? Ionization energy is ionization energy directly sometimes in the question will be getting just do 13.6 n square how many value of n you will be getting which are bit so that is the into ev well the ionization energy kya hai? the energy required to knock an, knock an electron completely out of the atom okay nahin. and what is ionization potential two formulas you just remember in this chapter you will be getting ionization potential right so that is equal to how much 13.6 Z square divided by N square volt. Yes or no? V is equal to W by Q relating with that, that formula. I told you these two formulas, right? Understood or not? Yes, sir. 